Good morning, guys. One of my dad's cows was having a calf all morning, and she finally plopped it out. And yeah, we were afraid she wasn't gonna be able to have it, so my dad actually drove all the way home from work, and like she had it just a couple minutes before he showed up, and then he's like, "Well, I guess I'm gonna go back to work." <laughs> so. Get you on back to work. It's very hot today. It might easily be, it's very dark in here. It might easily be the hottest day yet this summer. I don't really know what the temperature is right now, but it feels pretty toasty right now. I'm gonna show you guys uh, in all of our adventures yesterday, I, we stopped at Walmart because, uh, I forget what we were even doing in there. Somebody needed something. And so we went to the clearance aisle and was just looking at stuff. And I found this. Now you're going to say, what is that, Tiffany? Well, this is half pint jar caddy. Um, in the picture, it showed like jars of like, made me think of like jam or marmalade or something in this. And it's just like a container for them. It was on the sale aisle and it was only a dollar. Um, I don't have any marmalade or whatever. Any kind of jams that aren't in my fridge. And I'm not going to put this in my fridge because that would be weird. <laughs> so I bought this just because it was a dollar and it's cute. And I was thinking something, maybe put candles in it or something. But not sure yet. So, so far it's just been sitting right there <laughs> so I got that yesterday one dollar you guys know I'm crazy about dollar stuff got that and then I also got an ice cream scoop it was two dollars um, I got it because it was like half off the original price and we don't even have an ice cream scoop or we didn't have one now we do <laughs> so woo ice cream scoop in your face I have got to go drive out in the field and check cows really quick and count them and make sure they're all there. Make sure they're okay. So, well, let's go. Four wheeler, engage. Whee! I see cows. Let's go get them. Yesterday that vlogging and driving is bad. <laughs> I'm doing it again. Ah! Look how tall this grass is. Here's the top of the four wheeler or the top of the rack thing. The grass is right there. It's like up to it. That is some tall grass. Cow. 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 Okay, I found them. <laughs> Check this out. Come here, Sage. Look. Look at her running through the grass. It's so tall. <laughs> she can't even see where she's going. What is that thing? A bug? Did you find a bug? Oh, goodness. Oh. Oh. Don't let him come in the house. Hey guys, so I feel like a total nerd right now. Let me start from the beginning. <laughs> About 2.30ish, I picked up my Safe Haven book and I was like, I'm just gonna read a bunch of it or whatever. So I started reading. I probably had read for like an hour or so. And Jared texted me and said that, um, he was going to be going fishing tonight or whatever. So I was like, well, since he's going to be gone, maybe I'll just try to finish this whole book. Right now, it is 10 minutes till 6. I've pretty much been reading this entire time. <laughs> I feel like a nerd. But that's not what I was going to feel like a nerd about. This was, this is a love story, basically. But it's got a lot of other stuff in there, too. 
if I'm thinking right, this is the first book that's ever made me cry. Isn't that crazy that you can just read words and it makes you cry? I don't know. I might be a little baby for for crying, but the ending was very emotional for me. But the reason I, um, after Jared told me he was going fishing, I was like, oh, I'll read the rest of it. And then, um, on our satellite, we can, you can do like pay-per-view movies or whatever. So I went on there and I searched Safe Haven and it was there. So I was like, oh my gosh, I have to, like, I have to finish reading the book so I can watch the movie afterwards, you know, because Jared's not going to be here or whatever. I just felt like a nerd slash weirdo for crying for a book. I don't know. Does anybody else do that? Either way, this Safe Haven by Nicholas Sparks was awesome. Really good love story. And once again, if I'm thinking right, this might have been like my first like love novel. Most of the time the novels I read are mysteries or like I really like John Grisham books. So if that if you know anything that he writes, I, that's kind of the genre I usually go for. But I really liked this. It was good. So I am like so pumped because I'm fixing to watch the movie. And I will let you guys know how it was. So go get Safe Haven. It's really good. <laughs> Definitely recommend it. So yeah, I'm going to watch the movie now. Okay, um, I'll update you guys on how it was tomorrow. So look forward to that.